Hey everybody, Stacks here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm checking out a preview for X-Men number six. Not a lot of new meat here, but we'll still go over it. It's of course written by Jonathan Hickman and it's written or drawn by Matteo Bufagini. Bufagani? I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's Bufagani. Bufagani? Whatever it is. Anyways, uh, before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're planning on picking this up or not. Um, also, if you go check out my X-Men Fantastic Four number one video, uh, you can find out the details on how to enter to win all four of those uh, issues when they are released. Uh, I'll be mailing them out once they're all out, and you guys can go check the details over there. So this preview focuses on a prior conversation that was that was had between Mystique, Professor X, and Magneto. And this conversation happened, I believe, back in House of X number two, when Mis or maybe number one, when Mystique returned from the mission where her and Sabretooth and Toad went to go get the information on the Orcas facility where the mother mold is over by, you know, hanging out by the sun and all that. Now it's that classic, it, it, it covers the old plot line, but it adds another couple things in here that really make this, uh, that it could be a very interesting issue. And I'll talk some speculation at the end of it as to what this exactly is about. But the conversation starts between Mystique and Professor X and her saying, I have demands. And Professor X just casually responds, do you now? Is helping your fellow mutants not reward enough for you, Raven Darkholm? And she just responds, no, no it isn't. I need more. And Professor X, of course, raising the old finger to the head says, yes, I see. But it's fair, I suppose, because we have further demands as well. And then I like this because they get a little catty. She's like, really? And he's like, yeah, I'm afraid so. She's like, is helping your fellow mutants not reward enough for the great Charles Xavier? And he has to get on you know, his high horse and say, we're building a better mutant world, Mystique, and everyone who would live in it owes something, including you. Well, that's when Eric chimes in, and this is the new portion where they're talking about the attack on the Mother Mold. And he says, look, we're sending a team to the mother mold orbiting the sun. You'll do, you'll go with them, run the mission, but there's something else we need from you. And she's like, what's that? We need you to plant a seed for a winter harvest. Now I do have a point of contention here and I, I wanna hear what you guys think about it. I thought that the information she went to get with Sabretooth that is on that thumb drive, I thought that was the details or maybe it's just the schematics for the mother mold because they, when they show up they know the the entire layout of it it's all on that usb drive but my understanding was that's what was on there but they already have a maybe i mean that's a picture from a pretty far distance maybe that's just something they took with with something else i don't know y'all let me uh, know what you think down in the comments below on that one dude i did i have my idea of what they took from the orcas facility that they raided did i have that wrong or or is that just a an oversight or is that just is that is that something basically look we know this base is there we just need what they went and got was the schematics um as far as speculating on this did they are they seriously is this like an offensive operation so something that's pretty common is you'll and you'll see um is you kind of hit the second wave right so an attack happens um, and this is meant to draw in first response. This is especially in like terrorist type situations. A, an attack occurs, it's meant to bring in first responders. And then once that ha that's happened, you set off a secondary device. Now, is this similar to that? Did they plant a seed there on this, this Orcas facility hidden somewhere that they plan on springing into a gateway? And once they do, they plan on busting through and taking out the rest of the Orcas folks that have come to try to recover this base maybe not but it's certainly uh it's certainly an interesting thing to think about what what winter harvest are we talking here and again you know they're making plans and promises to with mystique that um they have no intent in their discussions with moira mctaggart to bring back destiny and that's that's where mystique is really kind of her focus is is getting destiny back but they've made it clear or through moira that we're not gonna do it. If you haven't checked out my uh, my video on Hickman's building to something bigger, it's going through some of the plot lines, and I talk a lot about Mystique and 
in that situation. I recommend going and checking it out. Anyways, guys, this is just a short preview. I've still got X-Force number 7 in the hopper, and I think there's a couple more. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't checked out all of Marvel's release list for next week. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a great weekend, and make sure you go check out that Fantastic Four X-Men video so you can uh, sign up to win the, all, the complete series once it's released. Anyways, guys, have a great weekend. That's all I got. Real Comic Stacks, out.